Hello, my name is Jakub Marszałek and welcome to a webinar devoted to impact investment and in deep tech ICT startups. When we look at today's world, uh, we see that uh, plenty of uh, problems, turbulences, negative changes appeared. And um, we are generally uh, first to uh, react on these changes and to, to implement uh, long-term strategies for uh, preventing from these negative um, changes. When we look at the major actor, the most important actors uh, in this uh, act, uh, we can generally point at governments and philanthropic um, institutions. But now, uh, dynamics of uh, negative changes and challenges that we can face with uh, seems to be so huge and so important that uh, additional support from other entities in the economy uh, seems to be rather necessary. That is why we need businesses to step in inside this game and to support other players uh, with this game against uh, negative changes. Uh, we also need businesses because of the innovative features uh, that may uh, really help with, uh, uh, with uh, this uh, positive reaction on, uh, on negative changes. Um, how can we describe impact and uh, what do we mean when we uh, talk about impact investment or, or general impact? Well, I think that the definition can be presented as a, a bit obvious. So we see, uh, or we can uh, say that uh, uh, impact uh, uh, refers to some kind of a change of action for, uh, for uh, expected uh, results, so some kind of outcome. If, this, um, it is, if it's refer, uh, referred to um, nowadays situation, of course, we, we understand uh, impact as changes uh, in uh, social or environmental uh, world. So, so the outcomes should be related to these areas. And of course, uh, this impact should be measurable. So we expect that these changes can be counted somehow and expressed in numbers or any other uh, unit that can be compared in time or between some sections. Of course, impact can be positive or, or negative and the positive impact can be uh, a, a hint how or what should be developed in, in the world, while the negative impact is a warning what should be stopped or corrected. Impact may be, of course, uh, intended and unintended, so some processes are well known and we can describe them that well, while the others uh, are a kind of a suspicion uh, when we don't, we are, when we are sure uh, what's the reason of this of this change? Another problem is uh, what is a uh, uh, relation uh, in impact process. So, so whether it's that direct or indirect, and what is the impact in generally indirect uh, relation? Um, all these uh, um, uh, things, all these premises uh, uh, are based by theory of change, a theoretical uh, philosophy that uh, is focused on uh, actual problems um, of the world and uh, quite detailed and careful observation 
how these changes may be controlled and what can we learn from uh, from these changes. Of course, uh, this impact uh, should generally uh, be considered in uh, most uh, uh, the widest uh, perspective to involve um, stakeholders analysis or direct beneficiary uh, entities. Um, there's one thing I uh, which uh, is is quite specific in the uh, impact investment analysis. This is the essence of entrepreneurship. Uh, when you look at the definition and and the, the well some kind of a essence of uh, entrepreneurship generally, we see that the entrepreneurs uh, are the uh, players in the market looking for the opportunities, uh, chances, uh, and they try to struggle against the barrier that they find on the market. So if we are aware of uh, today's uh, ecological and social challenges, I think that we can involve, and, and I hope you agree with me, that we can involve businesses to be uh, to, to, to make them part of this quite important game. So we can address uh, these problems to the companies, to the businesses, and probably because they have uh, some uh, innovative feature, they may they may uh, um, uh, find uh, a, a better solution that is right now found in the uh, in other areas of uh, of uh, of institutions. Um, one thing uh, is uh, quite important and should be mentioned here: um, we have. Uh, several stages of entrepreneurship. It may be um, set in a very uh, a narrow uh, range. <coughs> so, sorry. Um, uh, so it may be um, much more regional or even directed to uh, a specific community. And uh, while on the other hand, we may consider bigger businesses. So it may be uh, taken in a wider perspective, like in the country or even international. Um, if we uh, look carefully at the essence of the entrepreneurship, we can also find some positive um, impact that may be uh, tied with the historical values, historical roots of a particular activity. So entrepreneurs and businesses uh, may play a very important role um, in the whole process of change. Of course, uh, we don't uh, have to um, agree uh, with uh, total unregulated free, sol free market solutions because uh, we have parallel activities. Uh, one which is uh, realized um, on uh, by uh, general uh, uh, authorities, and then maybe, for example, expressing uh, social uh, development goals. While on the other hand, uh, we have uh, economic policies. So uh, it would be, be much better if we. Um, coordinate these activities together. Otherwise, uh, we uh, may obtain results of the impact investment, which is not really needed in particular area. Of course, uh, uh, we have plenty of, uh, of directions, plenty of scenarios, plenty of goals that um, may be um, uh, taken by, by businessmen. So it may be uh, notably uh, access to education or food waste or climate change, um, mitigation, inclusion of uh, minorities or refugees, of course, 
and woman empowerment. These uh, challenges uh, are very actual. Uh, they, uh, they are insisting. Uh, and uh, even if we ignore them, we, we have to, uh, we have to uh, do something against them or, or control them or to reduce them because they affect our life every day. Um, so when we um, try to describe what's the position of impact investors, we uh, can look at the um, classification of the European Venture Philanthropy Association, and then we can distinguish uh, investments uh, for impact. Uh, and they described uh, as investments uh, with a um, the primary uh, focus on the impact. Uh, and on the other hand, we can uh, point uh, investments uh, with impact. Uh, where we have uh, uh, some financial benefits also included. Between these, uh, or inside even, um, or uh, in the middle between these two um, uh, perspectives, we can point for uh, possible uh, solutions. And now we can see uh, that um, the social purpose uh, organization uh, may be only focus on 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 impact, so um, it is never financially uh, self sustainable. Uh, this is the extreme, and if we uh, consider some potential financial uh, self sustainable model. Uh, this economic aspect, this financial aspect uh, may play even slight role, but visible role in the whole business model. If we uh, can find a constant stable uh, financial effect, uh, we uh, are in the middle between invest investments for impact and investment with impact. Um, the extremely uh, impactable uh, solution is when we have uh, uh, impact, uh, especially uh, related to uh, financial benefits. So, uh, in other words, we can say that um, uh, SPOs without um, financial aspects are typical. Um, uh, charity, uh, charity like maybe even, uh, while uh, the uh, investing uh, where the impact uh, has uh, more business like features. So it's a business uh, alike uh, with potential with potential um, uh, impact. Um, Quite important player uh, in the uh, impact uh, investments. Of course, our impact investors. They may they may we may point uh, uh, even um, uh, a group of uh, investors that may be described as a venture philanthropy. So it means uh, high engage long term investors uh, uh, supporting social purpose organizations. They they are similar. Uh, to typical venture capitalists, but uh, or business angel like, but of course uh, the social or environment or environmental uh, goal uh, is also very important uh, um, uh, for them, even maybe more important than the fin financial uh, return, financial uh, bon benefit. When we look at the um, pillars of uh, social responsibility and we try to describe um, a kind of a genesis of the impact investment concept, we know that, uh, and we are almost sure right now, that this uh, philosophy 
uh, it's not only a, um, a, a kind of a, a brand new trend, but this is a consequence of changes in our real world. So uh, if we look at the economic crises, if we look at the loss of confidence in the market, deteriorating uh, condition of the natural environment, growing social disproportion, and uneven development of selected areas in the world, we are sure that they are uh, part of our uh, reality, uh, part of our world. And we have to do with that if we want to survive, if we want to save our planet for next generations. So that is why we have uh, stable uh, and quite demanding um, goal that uh, we have to consider, that we have to take. Uh, and on the other hand, uh, we don't uh, know much uh, uh, we don't know much about it because uh, usually this uh, uh, knowledge is quite fresh, quite short. Of course, the pillars are uh, seems to be obvious, like ecology, uh, environment, sustainability, participation, community, transparency, and resp responsibility. They are related to each other, but if we uh, look at them deeply, uh, we know that they are the consequences of previous mistakes. And uh, if we don't change our philosophy of life, uh, these problems will simply uh, in insist. What are the uh, objectives uh, of um, uh, uh, possible impact investments. Well, they may be governed in two groups, environmental and, and social ones, if we consider an ASG area. Well, uh, here in this table, we have some examples and uh, we know um, many of them because they are much, uh, they're quite often popularized. Uh, in media. So uh, as we look at the environmental ones uh, like uh, coal and environmental goods and the uh, facing of nature and conservation, greenhouses and, and building uh, quality of water uh, or sustainable use of earth resources, we know it very well, but we uh, still need more and more projects um, supporting these trends. Exactly the same, of course, we, we, we have uh, um, plenty of solutions, but still we are very, for example, uh, in, uh, in environmental uh, protection, uh, we still uh, need new technologies. We still need some technical support in our uh, everyday problems like electricity or other fuels, energetic efficiency, commodity science, um, transport uh, and infrastructure, waste management or water related technologies, also in um, uh, food production and green products and services. This is an uh, element which is um, very uh, related to uh, ICT problems. So I think these um, uh, startups may help uh, society to develop uh, new technologies, new uh, ideas uh, to make uh, previously invented technologies more efficient or um, uh, substituted by new ones. If we look at social um, goals, uh, uh, ICT uh, solutions may be also used because social problems like access to good housing, uh, energy or water, uh, equivalent education and, 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 and health, for example, or food. Um, it's a, sometimes a question of information. So people may be more um, uh, uh, organized uh, and more entrepreneur uh, to solve the problems themselves, but they need information and good information. Another area um, that may be described here is, of course, uh, uh, there are a group of problems related in, in, in funding. 
So um, uh, in investment in, in with impact uh, or investment uh, uh, for impact uh, may have goals um, in social loans or microcredits or for finance. So what we have right now is uh, uh, the necessity uh, of catering several needs uh, that are results of today's challenges and today's problems. Some of them are um, long-term and need some time to, to be solved. Some may be solved quicker. Uh, it doesn't matter what kind of need we have to cater. Um, it's good opportunity to involve uh, businesses um, and adjust um, the duration of investment process of particular investors to the duration of uh, catering the needs.